Gonna bring you something just a little bit different and frolicky tonight. Did you know frolicky's away? Christmas is in the air tonight. It's and so I'm, in the air. I'm so excited and the, the, this family has been doing this for a long time and you're gonna talk about it. I am. And we're gonna go there right now. We're gonna go meet meet the guy. The we're guy. gonna meet the guy. The guy. Who does the extravaganza. No, it's Conway Christmas light extravaganza. Oh, I'm sorry. On Maple Conway Valley Road in Coventry, Rhode Island. Come along with us for the ride. It's at his house. This is gonna be fun. Turn the car. Yeah, turn the car on. It's cold. Can you put the heat on? Okay. there are snowmen in a car. How do you not love that? And deer, no, they're not deer, they're reindeer. And reindeer in a house, I can't. The candy canes, ah, oh, this is just so cute. You're getting ready for the big ride. <laughs> I hope they're eating a lot. Look at all of the lights on this house. And Santa's on a pole. Where? He's right up there. Oh my God, this Santa. Santa is know. on a telephone pole. Like, did, how did he did get him up there? Pole he's on, can you? <laughs> um, would it possibly be the North Pole? Yes. Whoa, can't believe it. Look at these candy cane. Candy cane. Wow. And the train. Is that cat? I love this so much. This just makes me happy. I mean, I can't even describe it. It just makes me feel like I'm a kid again coming to something like this. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good. Is it okay if I put you on film? Is that all right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice and what's your name? Matt. Matt, what's your name? Megan. And what's your name? Luna. Okay. So guys, what do you think about this display? Oh, it's great, it's beautiful. Beautiful, the baby loves it. Yeah, and you come here every year? <laughs> oh, uh, no, we haven't been here time. yet. Really? Yeah. Are you from Coventry? Nope, we live in uh, Cranston. Oh, okay, and how did you hear about it? Uh, Facebook. Oh, nice. Yep, yep. Very nice. Any other displays you're going to this year? <laughs> uh, probably just Lost a lot. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. We haven't even <laughs> been there the yet. One, right? it's, that, that is the biggest, the big kahuna. Yeah. <laughs> 
and what are you going to do for Christmas this year? Um, we're just going to his dad's house. Oh, nice. Yep. Very yeah. nice. Now, do you guys cook, or are you just letting yeah, everything? Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Are nice. you a good cook? Yes, I am. Oh, no, that's good. <laughs> and what's the meal of choice for your uh, I think we're doing a lasagna. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, so much work, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and it takes five minutes for everybody to eat it, and it's, then it takes an hour to clean it all up. But it's all good, because it tastes good. I am here with Ted. How you Hi, doing? Ted. Hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you. It is so nice to meet you, and I Thank cannot you. believe this display that you have. Yep. So tell us when it started and why. Uh, well, my grand, like I said, my grandfather got me into it when I was a kid. Uh, and then we built this in 1992, and I've been starting, I've been decorating since 1992. Uh, my six-year-old grandson Carter helps me. And then Blake, who lives around our corner, he's 13, he comes over and helps me. Nice. And he actually has his own display at 230, I think it's 233 Chaplin Lane, right oh, around the corner. He, really? Yeah, he puts on his own display with music, everything goes, you know, everything dances to the music, and it's it's pretty awesome. But yeah, he's working at it, so he comes over and he spends hours over here with me helping, and then, wow. of course, you know, Carter's running around like, like a nut <laughs> helping me. And then my uh, my second oldest son, he has, a, he has a son, my grandson, Bennett. He's a year and a half, so hopefully he'll be out here soon. Nice. Helping us and stuff, yep. I do have a question though, like yeah. how long did it take you to put all of the lights on just the house? The house took about a week and a half. Oh my God, yeah, non stop? Yeah, every day. Oh yeah, there's uh, 13, about 13,000 lights just on the house. 13,000 <laughs> yeah, lights? Okay, yeah. so you, yeah. you know what's going through my mind right now? Yeah. How much is your electric bill? Well, it used to be 1,200 to run it for the whole season, and I switched everything to LEDs, and it dropped it down to about 500 for the season. Really? Yeah, so it made a big difference. They're a little more money to buy, but yeah. if they last a few years, they'll pay for themselves. So do you shop the after Christmas specials? All the time. <laughs> if I can get a 50% off, I'm doing it. <laughs> good for you. Well, that's smart. And yep. that is so good to know that switching to LEDs saved you that much money on your bill. Yeah, it's, it's a big difference. It's unbelievable. And you can put more on one circuit because it's, it's not a lot of draw to it. So, Interesting. Yeah, See, yeah. who knows? Like, I yeah. would not even know that. Yeah, you can do a lot with it, so it's a lot well, It's a lot better. Awesome. All right, yeah. let's take a walk. All let's right. see what you got here. All right, awesome. Now, I notice mostly everything you have mm -hmm. are blow molds. Yeah, yeah, we're mainly blow molds. And we also have, in, like, in the walking path, you'll see there's, uh, like, fabric stuff and tinsel stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the train, we built that ourselves, myself and two of my sons, Joe and Matt. Ah. Uh, and it smokes. It's, it's, oh, look, and, and speaking of smoking, yes. look at that. Yeah, there's two fog machines in it to uh, make it, you know, steam. And it's completely made out of wood. Oh my God. Yeah. All right, what made you decide to do the train? That was actually my son's idea. My son, Joe, he wanted to do a Polar Express theme. Oh, wow. So we built it. We built it in sections thinking we'd pull it apart every year, but once it's, I'm like, nope, it's staying and it's a permanent loan ornament. And yeah. In the summer, I cut the grass and we'd whack around it. <laughs> Oh, so you're not putting this in your garage? No, nope, it stays right there. <laughs> I think that's a good idea, really. Yep, yep. Now, how about all of these blow molds? I mean, you have so many different ones. Yeah, we have probably over 400 blow molds. Wow. Yep. Yeah, I actually used to get them from, uh, Sears used to sell them. Uh, Sears, remember Sears? Sears? Yeah. I love Sears. Yep, Ann and Hope. I used to get them a lot at Ann and Hope. Oh, Ann and Hope. Yep. And so you got some oldies here. Yeah, yeah, I've been collecting since 1983, 84. Look at this, is so cute. You know, this is supposed to be like an old fashioned train car. We actually made the roof curve like, like the real train, you know, old fashioned train car. Then we got a bonneville snowman peeking in oh the window. God. <laughs> so, I mean, just the thought process that yeah. went into all, yep. and look at what you're going through a lighted tunnel yep. now. We have a couple of archways, and this is from uh, Rudolph, the island of misfit toys. Oh. I got a whole collection of those. <laughs> <laughs> This is so fun. So do you get to hear any stories from people when they come to see this display? And what's your favorite story from uh, someone? It's just that I like the ones that came back every year. They, they say it's, a, you know, they made it into a tr uh, tradition and they love coming back. And yeah. I think it's awesome. Uh, the reactions of the kids and the adults, are, you know, it was awesome. I love seeing that. Did you add to this? It feels like you added to it. Uh, yeah, I add to it every year. Actually, you'll, you'll see when we go up the hill, that's all That's all brand new this year. I thought so. Yep. I did, because I'm like, that. I don't think that was there yeah, last that, year. Going up the hill is all brand new. Oh my and like, th these are some of the tinsel and fabric ones. Oh, have. okay, okay. So it's not just blow molds, it's, it's just type and then the blow molds. Right, okay, so you have to have a favorite piece though. Uh, it's probably the, the Santa and the, and the reindeer taking okay. off. Okay, nice. Yep. That's probably my favorite, and, and of course the train. The train 
train is yeah the train is is key <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now what about your favorite memory as a child during christmas time oh uh, just with my grandfather um we used to go in the backwoods and pick princess pine and he'd make little wreaths and then i'd watch him make the little wooden sleighs he's the one that got me into it my my mom's dad and did you grow up in rhode island yeah, I actually grew, grew up a half a mile from here on Madison Road. Did you? Yeah, everybody right stays corner. around here. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah, yeah. So I noticed that you like Snoopy. Is there a special connection to um, Snoopy? No, I just I just thought it was cute, and there's a, there's Snoopy with the mailbox too. <laughs> yes, see how cute. Yeah. Opening and closing. Yeah, I just anything I think I see that looks you know cute or good, I I grab. <laughs> and this dog is absolutely adorable. Yep. I got him last year from Lowe's. Now, have any snowstorms been bad enough that you haven't been able to open it up to the public? Because this is a lot to shovel, right? Uh, actually, I use a snowblower. Okay. Um, actually, the Coventry police said as long as the roads aren't too too slippery, I can keep them on. They they did ask me like say during an actual storm. Yep. Um, not to put them on, just so you know people won't be uh, getting into trouble with the sliding and stuff. Hi, folks. Is, is it okay if I put you on camera? Is that okay? Yeah, this is Ted's display, yes. and you guys are here visiting. Yep. What made you come here, and how did you find out about it? We found out, well, our neighbor told us about it, and okay. so we drove by at first, not not sure what to expect. Yeah. We were underdressed, so we oh. went home, got got bundled up a little bit, and then came back. It's amazing. It's, it's great. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. This is, and this is the creator. How are you doing? Yes. Nice to meet yeah, you. nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's incredible. What is your favorite part of the display? So you can tell the with the creator. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, I was shocked by the uh, the Polar Express over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then I saw the, the smoke coming. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh, nice. Yep. Nice. Yeah. So Girls, you have a favorite? Um, my favorite was probably the house and all the lights. Oh, lights. Mm -hmm. Or probably Santa and his reindeer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so what are you asking Santa for Christmas? Probably a bike, because I gave her mine. <laughs> oh, that was nice, though. <laughs> You're a good sister. Nice. And what do you want for Christmas? Barbies. A Barbie. What kind of Barbie? Just any old Barbie? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? They're all good. They're all good Barbies. Barbie. And what do you want for Christmas? What do you want? Do you want that? Yeah. That's a good. That's a good choice. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. And where will you guys be spending your Christmas? In Situate, Rhode Island, nice. right up the street. Very nice. <laughs> yes. Well, have a wonderful holiday, Thank all you. of you, Likewise. and enjoy. You Thank you so much. How does that make you feel? Oh, uh, it's awesome. I love the reactions and everyone liking it, and uh, it's pretty neat. I, I mean, to <laughs> me, makes it all worth it, <laughs> right? That's what I would think. Just yep. you know, seeing the smiles on the kids' yep. faces and the parents even just being overwhelmed. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Now this pot's all brand new. All this stuff is all new. This is so neat. Yeah, all this is all new. So how much property do you have here? Almost three acres. Okay. Yep. So you have, you have plenty more room to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're just gonna, we're just going to put Christmas lights everywhere. Yep. Yep. I mean, do you have a vision of how far you want to go with it? Um, I don't know. I mean, I could do a lot more, but I have, as you see, as you come around the corner, there's historical cemeteries all through these oh, woods here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, look, there's one right here, right? Yeah, and actually that stone right there, that's the oldest, I was told that's the oldest etched stone in Rhode Island. Come on. Her name is Susan or Susanna. She was born in 1700 and she died in 1736. So young. Yeah. I mean, they all died so young. Yeah, back then. Crazy. The medicine wasn't as good and the, I guess the winters were rough, but yeah. So as you come around, there's, there's more there's more graves over there. Now, did this ever creep you out? Uh, no, we've actually had encounters. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> yeah, Wait, okay. Yeah. Oh, we got to hear about that. <laughs> Tell us about... It was about probably a month ago. I was out here working on the lights and um, my fiance was in the house sitting on the couch and um, she's on the computer and watching TV and all of a sudden she felt a little tug on her sweatshirt and she looked down and there was uh, like a shadow silhouette figure of like a five-year-old child. She kind of looked at him, looked away, he kind of looked at her and I have an, uh, a fish tank built in the wall and she said he got up, walked around, looked at the fish tank and then all of a sudden he like, kind of like disappeared. And then I was out over on that, the other side of the train and all of a sudden I got like a wicked strong perfume smell. Nobody was around me. 
and then all of a sudden it went away. And then years ago, my son was out, he was decorating out here and he kept having this feeling like somebody was watching him and all of a sudden he turned around and like 50 feet away from him, there was a silhouette of a, of a, a guy standing. And he said, he kind of looked, he looked away and the guy was gone. So I said, I said to him, I said, what'd you do? He goes, I went in the house. I was done for the night. I ran. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, but yeah. Well, it, they're friendly. They're, yeah, they're friendly. And I actually come out and I'll uh, weed whack and leaf blow and, and keep the graves all nice and clean. So, and I'm hoping they like the display. <laughs> You know what? I bet they do, and they're probably thankful yeah. that you keep their graves clean. Yeah. Because there is actually one behind near where we live. Okay. And they're not kept up with. Yeah. Yep. But we live far enough away, I don't think they'd be mad at us. Oh, okay. So I'm hoping <laughs> that's the case. Yep. yep. But see, you that's yeah. crazy because yeah. you're keeping them nice, nice and yeah. all manicured, yeah, and yeah. they're like, yep. you know what? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you so yeah. much. Yeah, because actually over there is the Rathburns and one of their children that passed away was five years old. So no. I, don't, I don't know if it was him wow. walking around, but yeah. Yeah, but we put the plastic up just to kind of give them privacy. Right. When, you know, all the people come walking. Yeah. Through. Oh, wow. But yeah, I try to keep it clean and... Very thoughtful. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Yeah, and the manger. manger. Wow, really nice. And I got really, the bumper really cars nice. that, that move back and forth. I got little motors. Oh, yeah. Those are cute. And we got two squirrels hanging over the path. They are so <laughs> cute. Holding their pine cones. <laughs> Tell us about the Tomorrow Fund and why that is special to you. Um, actually, that was my son. He he started collecting for that years ago, and he just lo he loves kids. Yeah, like I say, he has his own his own uh, son Bennett. Um, and then yeah, he he started collecting it, and every year we keep going. So it's, it's an awesome program. It helps out, you know, the kids, the parents with, with cancer and all the expenses and stuff. So um, last year we, we uh, raised um, $4,031 towards it. That is fantastic. Yep. And every year that what we raise, um, we go to the bank, give them the cash, and they give a cashier's check with the Tomorrow Fund on it. We always take a picture and post it on our, our website uh -huh. so everybody knows exactly what, what they're getting every year. And when everyone comes to visit, yep. this is where the donations yes. go for the Tomorrow Fund, yep. correct? Yep. yep, that is true. And you built that yourself? I built that myself, yep. It's the cutest little <laughs> donation house ever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so how do people find you guys? Uh, on Facebook, you can just go to Conway Christmas Lights Extravaganza. And it tells us tells all about us. You have this past videos of different displays and how, how it used to be smaller and every year how it got bigger and you know what we do. and tells about the tomorrow fund and different years that we, what money we raise and uh, the checks and stuff. Yeah, if you go on Facebook and punch in Conway Christmas Lights Extravaganza and we're located at 265 Maple Valley Road in Coventry, Rhode Island. So every year you just continue to make this bigger and bigger and I have yep. to say I as an adult yep. just love coming here. We come here every single year. Well, well welcome back. I'm glad you, glad you enjoy it and actually next year it's gonna go I already started clearing out the woods. It's, go it's gonna go over that way and come right back in. So next year it's gonna be even bigger. So be that's your plan. You just, you must have this in your mind. Yeah, I just, every every year I try to figure out how I can make it a little bigger or, or just buying extra, you know, extra new stuff and, and right. putting, it, putting it into the display and stuff. Well, everybody should look out on Christmas clearance for you and yeah. drop it off at your house. <laughs> actually, yeah, people have donated stuff. and Really? Oh, you know, we appreciate it, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, actually, the, the little manger scene that we just went by, um, yeah. someone donated it this spring. He, he lives actually lives around a corner on Tom Farm Road. Oh, that's so nice. Yep, he left it out in front of my garage with a little note saying who he was, and he loves the display, and uh, <sighs> he donated it to us. The generosity of people, you know, you, yeah. you just have to yeah. say, a lot of people are just so good. Yeah, yeah, no, it's awesome. And this this was just a, a, a children's um, playhouse. My son turned it into Mrs. Claus's place. <laughs> This is great. Well, Ted, I appreciate it. We appreciate what you do for the community so and for everybody. I'm sure you have people driving here from oh, long yeah. distances. Actually, we a uh, lady came from Poland last week. What? Yeah, she uh, <laughs> was visiting family during Thanksgiving, and they are they came here before us, so they told her that you have to come and look at it. So she came and she was talking to me. Yeah, she actually from Poland. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. You uh, must love that. Yeah, though. I thought it was I, I thought it was awesome. Yep, but I've had people from Florida, New Hampshire, all over.
just coming to see the lights and stuff, you know. And again, it makes you feel good, but you're also out here making all of us feel good and feel like kids again. So oh, we thank, thank you. you, Ted. Oh, thank you welcome. so much. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. Freezing outside. I'm freezing. We just got done talking to Ted in this amazing Christmas display. And you know what? Al? What? And everybody? Push the Christmas moon. It doesn't get any nicer than this. No, you know what? What? You know what I thought was the greatest thing? What was the greatest thing? He loves Journey. I'm just, I'm oh just throwing God. it out he, there. He, he loves, Journey, loves and Journey and Death Leopard. And Death Leopard. He's got the Kiki Dive M app on. And he's on Maple Valley Road and Coventry, Rhode Island. It's worth a trip. The Conway Christmas light extravaganza. Just the stories he gave was just, you know, he likes Def Love. And Journey. So you gotta, you gotta come visit. You, you have, right? It's right there. It's worth it. I do have to say, I saw one of your favorite classic rock bands. He says, Def Love and Journey. What like that? And, and, no, he and, went, he went. Journey. Right. And then, like he was very right and then, very exact exaggerated and then, and then said, when he said it. Kiki says, You like journey? Oh, I love okay. journey. He says, I'm like, wow, is this he, Ted? He, he loved Journey and he thinks they're all great. So Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoyed the Conway uh -huh. Christmas extravaganza. Christmas light extravaganza. The Christmas light extravaganza. And now I'm going to get a, a, a cup of hot chocolate. Yeah, we're going to go get one. Because I'm freezing my butt off. All right. All right. Merry oh. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Say, say Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs>